Keeping your children safe on the internet can be a huge challenge, but that's where Burton Kelso comes in. He's here with the top five apps to help us monitor our kids' online activity. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Michelle. This, this is like spying. It is, but spying. in a good way. We are keeping our kids safe because there are so many dangers out there when it comes the, to uh, texting and social media, all of that stuff. Right, so, and cyberbullying and uh, yeah. pedophiles trying to groom kids on the internet. So it's very important that you know what your kids are doing uh, mm -hmm. on the internet. And there are lots of apps out there, so we've got five to go through. And, and you can tell us your favorite ones, the ones that are most user friendly. All right, let's start up first with M Spy. M Spy is the granddaddy of uh, spying apps. It's been around, I think, since 2005. Uh, but it originally started out as a spying app for employers to keep track of their employees, but now parents are starting to use it to keep track of their kids. Uh, MSPY allows you to keep track of Snapchat. Uh, it allows you to keep track of emails. If you click on the email link, you can see all the emails that come through. Uh, it also has a GPS location, so you can kind of keep track where your kids where your kids at? So where their technology is at? Like you can monitor their iPhone. You can because they don't go anywhere without their iPhone. Right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So. Okay, and then Teen Safe, which is one of your favorites. Why do you like this one so much? Teen Teen Safe is uh, probably one of the more easier apps to uh, install. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a web-based application. All you need is the Google ID or the Apple ID of your kid. You go to the website, you put that information in, and lo and behold, you have access to the kid's phone. So it's a pretty easy setup for it parents is a pretty to use, easy setup, and that's a big yes. part of it because our kids sometimes can use technology better than we can. Right, exactly. So we need to make sure we know more than they know. Right. <laughs> to keep them safe. Right. Now, uh, Teen Teen Shield or Teen Safe, I'm sorry, allows you to keep track of uh, Facebook messages. It allows you to keep track of Instagram, uh, and it also will keep track of uh, text messages as well. So mm -hmm. it's a very comprehensive app, and it's probably one of the easier ones to, for parents to set up. Okay, so we do need to know their password, though, in that situation. Right, exactly. So kids are aware, hey, we're watching out for you. We're watching your online activity. Well, I think the ideal is, is before you give your kids any piece of technology, you need to establish what their username and password is going to be so uh, you're not in the dark when it comes to a lot of this stuff involving technology. Okay, so up next we have uh, FlexiSpot. Right. Now, this was started actually in the workplace to help employers, but now it's helping parents. Right, exactly. It's like MSPY, where employers could use it to keep track of their employees' uh, web habits, but now see if they're productive are, or not. Right. Parents, <laughs> <laughs> parents can now keep track of their kids online and make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, if we log in here to FlexiSpy, you can kind of get an idea of uh, what things you can keep track. Uh, it's a pretty comprehensive app. It allows you to keep track of Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, text messaging calls, uh, Skype. Uh, it also gives you uh, camera alerts, photo alerts. You can keep track of everything that's going on with your kid's device. What about Snapchat, those things that are on for only a few seconds and then go away? Are any of these helpful with that app? Well, uh, MSPY, I believe we looked at earlier, does mm -hmm. have a, a Snapchat feature, but a lot of these apps don't uh, mm -hmm. have Snapchat. And it's just because the technology with these apps changed so quickly. Mm -hmm. So. The app developers just can't keep track of uh, what app is out there and what kids are going to use to uh, get on the internet. Okay, so then we do have another. It's Teen Shield, right? Another web-based app. R exactly. Uh, Teen Shield works with iPhone and Android tablets. Uh, it's a pretty basic app. It allows you to keep track of a uh, GPS location for your kids. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can see what their call log is, what their message log is, and the only app it allows you to look at is what's app. And it's not really a popular app that kids are using, but it does give you the basics as far as phone and text messaging is concerned. So something's better than nothing. Okay, and then monitoring Facebook and YouTube is very important. So tell us about uh, Mama Bear and how that can help. Now, Mama Bear, I, I really like this app. It's easy to use, and it's an app-based uh, application that goes onto your uh, parent's iPhone or iPad, and it also goes on the kid's iPhone, too. And it's a family, uh, it's a family oriented app where you can keep track of uh, all the members of your family. But more importantly, it allows you to keep track of uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Tinder, and it also will track your kids' uh, driving habits. So, oh, now how does that work? <laughs> it's got with the GPS location technology built into it. Uh, if your kid's going over a specific speed limit, it'll send you a text alert to let you know that they're speeding. Burton, that is brilliant. Well, I wish Can I would have come up with that. Can it also monitor if they're texting while driving because no, that's it, really important. It can't do that. <laughs> no, it doesn't But it can do tell you if they're speeding. Wow. Right. Okay, so out of all five of those, which ones would you recommend? I would recommend Mama Bear uh, as far as ease of use and then, mm -hmm. of course, TeenSafe, too, because TeenSafe uh, not only offers the uh, app 
monitoring software, but it also has a whole resource of, of uh, guides to help parents keep track of their kids and what technologies they should look for to help their kids avoid. Really great advice. For more information, we'll have a link to Burton's website on ours, KCLive.tv. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you.